Good morning again. It's Jane and I am doing two in one day. Uh, just so inspired to offering a, a traditional yogic sequence that is short and can be done uh, daily. If you're inspired, that is good for both body, mind and spirit. And I am sort of saying much gratitude to a couple of my teachings, Joe Standing and Shivakami Sumar. So a little bit of love from both of them coming through me as I offer sun salutation. So meet me on the mat. So let's find ourselves at the front of our mat and hip distance apart with a gentle micro bend in the knees toward ease in the joints. Let's see if we can visualize roots underneath those feet to feel grounded in this present moment. So we're working with invitation, body and mind, bringing the hands together in prayer, thumbs to sternum, elbows raised. Let's push those hands together and feel the power in this moment. A body that is in prayer is a body going toward ease and harmony. And with the energy of those hands pushing together, feel them raising up to the sky, separate those hands. Tadasana, the mountain, if you are feeling at ease and you're not struggling in low back, keeping the arms by the ears, do a gentle back bend, otherwise stay here, please. And then let's swan dive down to the floor in a forward bend. Forward bend, dropping the head toward the knees. Those knees are gently bent again. And find ease in your jaw. Find ease in your eyes. Find ease behind the ears. Find ease in this moment. Breathing, navel to spine, step the left foot back and drop the knee. Finding your right leg bent to a right 90 degree angle. Face forward, hands to hips. And let's twist to the right as a little variation here and then twist to the left and then come center. Breathing here, bring the hands down and bring the leg back and come into a power plank pose. Let's drop the knees, you can't really see me, drop your chest and your chin and then sweep up into a cobra. Put those toes down and push up into downward dog. Variation here, pedaling the heels downward. Three-legged dog, left leg up. Three-legged dog, right leg up. Stay here for two breaths. You might wanna close your eyes. Ha, releasing stress. Let's bring that, bring your belly to your spine to engage your core and step the left foot forward between the hands and then meet the right foot there and forward bend again. And then sweep your arms up all the way to the sky. Tadasana, stay here or gentle back bend. Hands back to your heart. That was sun salutation on one side. Let's shake it out. Ha. <sighs> And before we, let's find ourselves back on the mat and before we do the right side, just see what it's like in your body to notice the urge for equanimity, the urge to do both sides. Hands in prayer, thumbs to sternum, elbows raised, gentle bend in the knees, connect to this moment. Perhaps close your eyes for just one breath. Raise the arms up to the sky and if you are open to this, gentle back bend, arms by ears, and then sweep down to a forward bend. Relaxing the jaw, head, the top of the head is facing the floor. Breathing here, feel the feet planted. Feel the tension, any tension in your body and tap it out if you like. Right foot, bring the belly to spine and right foot goes back. Drop that knee down. Arms, hands to hips. Breathe. Twist to the right for a variation. Twist to the left. Come back center. Bring your 
your hands down and we're going to go to plank again. Feel the power in this moment. Shoulders over wrists. Drop the knees, drop the chest, drop the chin. One breath. And scoop up into cobra. Ha. Toes down, push up, downward dog. Three-legged dog left up. Hold, hold here, one breath. Drop it down. Three-legged breath. Three-legged downward dog with the right leg. Drop it down. Belly to spine as you step your right foot forward. Then your left foot forward. Forward bend here. Raise the arms up to the sky. Gentle back bend if you want. Come back to Dasana, hands together and to the heart. Shake it out again. Ha. We'll do a couple of more poses before we close for the day. So just pause in between asanas to note. Ha. Drop those shoulders down. Bring the hands back and just feel the stretch here. Drop the hands down, separate the legs and twist it out with the gentle bend in the knees. And then come to center and we'll do a balancing pose. So uh, gaze down on the floor and just bring your left heel up to the, to the other ankle. And you could stay here or to push it a little bit to the calf or to the thigh and cross it over. So, you know, I love balancing pose because it's an absolutely splendid metaphor for life. Hands to heart and open it up. As we play with balance here, we giggle at our imbalance, knowing life is a journey and we're looking to find our balance always, using the body as a metaphor as we choreograph our wellness finding balance with all that we are faced with. Full belly breath here. <sighs> and then bringing the arms down and then very gently the, uh, the leg down, shake it out very gently. So what do you need here? I'm needing to use the back of my hand into my right hip. That's a sensitive place for me. So without judgment, I'm just finding ease as I self-soothe, coming back. And we're going to do balance on the other side, but let's just breathe here. <sighs> so now my left foot is planted, my gaze is down, and I'm lifting my right heel, opening my leg to the ankle, to the uh, lower leg or the upper leg or crossover. Hands to heart. You can stay here or open it up. Balance, equanimity with all that is. Because we have a right to choose balance despite imbalance, to choose peace despite noise in this moment. And dropping that hand down, shaking it out, bringing the hands to prayer. In this moment, may our bodies find ease. In this moment, may our minds find ease. Remember, thoughts are just thoughts as we come back to this moment, to this breath, to this body movement as a prayer for this moment. May this practice serve you in wellness. Namaste, my friends. Until next time.